doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, porter time. Or rye beer time. Or the rye imperial porter time, I guess. That's what time it is. Uh, whatever it is, it's beer time. And we're doing a, uh, Duclaw, um, Guilty Filthy Soul which is their Imperial Chocolate Rye Porter. Uh, never had this before. Saw it at a mix of six place as I do a lot of my quote unquote lesser offerings and uh, said, hey, I like chocolate, I like rye, and I like porters. So that combination might be pretty uh, awesome. I've actually had or reviewed a couple Duclaw beers as, as of late that have impressed me. Um, their Colossus, there's their Devil's Milk, their Devil's Dew. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of a run of beers that I've enjoyed from them. So I figured, let's see if we can keep this going. As far as what it says on the bottle, Duclaw Guilty Filthy Soul Imperial, Imperial Chocolate Rye Porter. Um, Duclaw Brewing, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, government warning stuff. Drink responsibly on the side. Embrace your dark side with this award-winning blend of rye malt and chocolate that imbibes this whole uh, unique imperial porter with a complex flavor profile. Velvety mouthfeel and bittersweet finish that will leave you with no regrets. Respect the fluid, Duclaw.com. So there you go. Um, that's about it. Oh, well, boys, it's cool. Duclaw stuff is... It's laid out nice. It's... How do I put it? It's very tap out or um, uh, what's the uh, old crap back in the day? Because I'm old. Um, oh man, I can't remember right now. But uh, it's uh, fear this kind of labeling. It's very um, bruh labeling where it's almost like tribalish, kind of eh, very something about it. So the labeling is nice. It's done well. It's laid out well, but. Oh no, it's a little bit too, you know what I mean? I don't know, bruh, for me. So there you go. Otherwise, hopefully the beer is good. So, let's see what we got. That looks like a porter. Boom. Yeah kind of aggressive pour so I get a bit of a head out of that sucker um you know three fingers really um nice creamy top to it but not overly creamy uh, there's a uh, mika hair in there my dog hair you know it makes the beer better that's where they keep the heroin anyway um color wise uh, that sucker's dark i thought i'd be able to get a little bit of color out of it by bringing up some light but yeah i cannot garner any light out of that so that sucker is dark a little bit darker than what you'd expect from a porter. Let's see what you have to do with the nose. <sighs> Very similar um, nose to their Sweet Baby Jesus. I, I think I reviewed that. I know I reviewed it. I don't know if it's been posted yet. Regardless. Very similar nose to their SBJ. Um, so... Yeah, and just roasted malts, um, a bit of chocolate. I kind of want to smell peanut butter, even though it's not sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, it's roasted malts, a bit of chocolate. You know, it smells nice. It smells like a overly roasted malt porter. Not too much sweetness. No humps to be uh, found. So yeah, it smells nice. Not too shabby. Looks all right. She, she tastes all right. Cheers. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. It tastes very, very similar to their um, Sweet Baby Jesus, except it just tastes like a watered-down version of that. Um... Roasted malts are there, but not as prevalent as uh, their sweet baby. 
chocolate is there, but it's like minimal at best. Dry finish. Yeah, that's about it. Just roasted malts, dry finish, tinge of chocolate. Maybe the slightest bit of like astringency, maybe. And that's about it. Yeah. Pretty um pretty subdued for a seven point seven percent alcohol beer. I didn't read that off, it's seven point seven percent. I expected it to be a little bit more robust, bring a little bit more to the table. Yeah, it's got this kind of metallic astringent finish. Slightly bitter um finish to it that just doesn't do anything for me. So yeah. Um just like, just expecting more. I was on a good run of SPJ beers or not SPJ, two claw beers. Anyway, on a good run of uh, Duke Law beers, but it was their bigger offerings. Um, and this one just kind of leaves me a little bit flat, you know? Not offensive. Not bad. It was kind of singular in all its strokes. Roast them all. Not nearly, not, it's sweet, but not nearly overly sweet. I mean, it's just sweet, generous sweet. Tinge of chocolate, and that weird astringent finish. Yeah. You know, not an offensive beer, but not a great beer. Just a uh, mediocre offering. So there you go. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you. If you like Duclaw beers and you want to try all their stuff, it'd be worth giving a whirl. And um, if you want to try something else, I mean, it's like the rye in it just. For me, this doesn't shine through. So, I mean, if you like rye beers and want something a little bit different, that's fine. But there's a big difference between like a nice rye beer that has this nice rye spiciness to where this almost tastes like a, like you said, a metallic y astringentness. I don't think it's coming from the rye, just think it's coming from the brewing process. But yeah, I'm not a big fan. So, there you go. Uh, rating wise, I would give it a 78. Um, not offensive. I mean, you know, I talk about it and it sounds like I'm just dumping on the beer. It's not a bad beer. It just kind of like didn't meet my expectations and I thought it would be a little bit bigger. Not ABV or taste wise. I just thought it would bring out a little bit more. And yeah. Swing and miss. Such is life. So, there you go. Uh,. Yeah, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't, or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Untapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. Yeah. Another review down. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a better beer than this one. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>